Also new here at Ford, Knoxville Area National Guard members being deployed now to Washington, D.C. The state getting that request yesterday afternoon. Just before scenes like the one behind us unfolded, demonstrators being cleared away from the area around the White House. Nation's capital, like cities around the country, seeing protests over the last week responding to the death of George Floyd, a black man who died after a Minneapolis police officer was seen restraining him with his knee on Floyd's neck. The deployment announcement was made this afternoon by Major General Jeff Holmes, who is commissioner of the Tennessee Department of Military, saying that soldiers with the 278th Armored Cavalry Regiment, headquartered at the National Guard Armory on Sutherland Avenue in West Knoxville, had been alerted last night and asked of this morning, the state received authorization to mobilize the unit. They're expected to be on the ground in the D.C. area no later than Saturday. Again, I want to remind everybody we are truly the volunteer state, and we're exemplifying that in our efforts to support uh, the National Capital Region. Whether it's our volunteer spirit uh, that when the nation's capital asks for um, volunteers to help protect, we do that as well. We are indeed in Historic and unusual times, but as I said earlier, I think Tennessee can be a model for the country. That was Governor Lee, of course. Mayor General Holmes also today praised the work of National Guard members during last night's protest at the state capitol in Nashville, and he recognized demonstrators for showing those soldiers respect during the protest. Now, he also said today that the deployment would not affect the mission to support law enforcement here in Tennessee, nor its mission to help in the COVID-19 response. 